today, I am going to introduce you to the new Redivis RB89 Bluetooth-enabled GMRS radio. And utilizing my talent on loan from Xenu, I will share with you all of the good things about this radio and, yes, all of the bad things about this radio. But first, before I start bad-mouthing Redivis, again, allow me to point out that Redivis did send me this new Redivis RB89 radio in exchange for an honest review. And trust me, this review will be very painfully honest. The cost for the new Redivis RB89 radio is $48.00. Affiliate link below. The new Redivis RB89 is a GMRS radio, and according to our overlords at the FCC's, in order to transmit using a GMRS radio, you must have a GMRS radio operator's license. There is no test for a GMRS radio operator's license. You simply give the government more of your money, and they then give you the permission to use our free airwaves. When you purchase the new Redivis RB89 radio in the box, you will receive a user manual. The user manual is 11 pages long, but only five pages are actually about the radio. The rest of the pages are the safety warnings that the government requires, because what would we do without the government here to keep us safe? The user manual is written in very poor Chinglish, and it appears to have been written by a fourth grade Chinglish dropout. So the user guide is near useless. You will receive a belt clip. The belt clip affixes to the radio, not the battery, so that you can change the battery without having to remove the belt clip. You will receive this handsome wrist strap for fixing the radio to your wrist or any appendage on your body of your choosing. You will receive a battery charging cable, which has a USB connector, which plugs into the USB power plug, which you will also receive. You then plug this into the holes that you find in your walls throughout your house, and you then place the battery or the radio into the charger to send electricities from the wall of your house, through the wire, into the charger, and thusly into your battery. You will receive a programming cable. This is a standard programming type cable, the same as you would use for a Bufwang UV5R or similar radio. I will talk more about this programming cable and why you need it momentarily. You will receive this handsome Bluetooth earpiece. The earpiece connects to the radio wirelessly via the Bluetooths. You then insert this portion into your noise input hole on your head, and this will allow you to listen to and talk through the radio. We'll talk more about that momentarily as well. And you will also receive this USB A to USB C type cable, which plugs into the earpiece to charge up. You will receive this earpiece holder and extra rubber ear hole seal. You will receive one battery. It is a 2600 milliamp hour battery. It is a fairly decent size. And you will receive the Redivis RB89 Bluetooth enabled GMRS handheld walkie talkie radio. The battery inserts into the radio thusly. Radio has a on and off switch and volume control here, a flashlight here, a transmit and receive indicator light, a small, very small antenna, roughly two and a half inches long, but as we will see shortly, it's not the size that matters. On the side, there is a push to talk button and two programmable buttons. 
On this side, under this secret door, you will find the connection for the programming cable and an external earpiece. The antenna is non-removable. And I do not see a hex key or Allen wrench or anything or screw that would appear to release the antenna. So it does seem to be non-removable. That does not make this an FRS radio, contrary to popular belief on the interwebs. That just means that Redivus either did not get the proper certification from the FCCs to have a removable antenna, or it was a conscious design decision by our friends at Redivus. Although I'm not sure why they would choose to intentionally have a non-removable antenna. The radio has no IP rating or waterproofness rating, which means that you should not play with this radio in the bathtub. And this is an SOC, or system on a chip type radio, also known as a homodyne radio. Homodyne, which means that it is more prone to static and bleed over from other channels than a more expensive super heterodyne type radio. Now this radio is different from most other radios in a few ways. Some of those ways are good, some are of the not so good variety. First, as you may have noticed, is the screen. This is an LED screen and it is recessed underneath the translucent case. So when the radio is turned off or when the screen goes to sleep, it appears as though there is no screen. This type of screen is great indoors and in the dark. However, in bright sunlight, the screen is basically useless. Another thing different about this radio is the voice of the lady that lives inside the radio. She is not the normal sexy boofwang lady that we've all grown so accustomed to. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. And I think she might actually have a southern accent. And of course, the big difference between this radio and most other radios is that it is Bluetooth enabled and it comes with a wireless Bluetooth earpiece. Almost forgot. Uh, the earpiece comes pre-paired to the radio. That means they're already set up to talk to each other. So to use it, you just have to press the Bluetooth button on the radio and you'll see that the little flashy Bluetooth icon appears. You then turn the Bluetooth earpiece on and they automatically connect and are now working in harmony. You then insert the Bluetooth earpiece into one of your noise input holes. And now by using the belt clip to affix the radio to your belt, and by using this earpiece at the same time, the chicks will come flocking to you. If however you notice that the chicks do not come flocking to you while you're wearing your earpiece and talking, simply move closer to them and then start speaking more loudly and talk about things that are important like the weather and things like that, emergency services, and the chicks will begin running, hopefully toward you. The earpiece has a push to talk button, which will keep transmitting after you click it. And until you press it again, and it also has this very nice tap to talk button. So you just touch your finger to it and it will transmit as long as you're holding your finger on it. You don't have to press it, you simply touch it and it will transmit. This is actually a very nice feature and makes the earpiece a pleasure to use. The earpiece is to me the biggest selling point of this radio. If you use your radio a lot while driving or if you cruise the junior high schools, this earpiece really is a great feature. The manual says that you can pair the radio with other Bluetooth devices, so you don't have to use this earpiece, but I have not tried that yet because I don't have any other Bluetooth devices. The earpiece also has volume up and down buttons. And when you're done playing with the earpiece, you simply press and hold the power button for a few seconds and it turns it off. Another feature of this radio that for some reason, whoever is in charge at Redivus insists on putting on all their new radios is that it comes with CTCSS or DTC tones pre-entered on every fucking channel, which means that Redivus continues to be pretty much the only GMRS radio manufacturer to ensure that out of the box, you will not 
be able to have a conversation with anyone using any other brand GMRS radio. Now allow me to say that again, because what I just said sounds so stupid that people may misinterpret what I said. Out of the box. Because whoever is in charge at Redivis apparently does not care if their customers have a horrible user experience while using their products. Out of the box, you cannot talk to any other GMRS radios until you remove all of the CTCSS and DTC tones. You can see that they're enabled, as indicated by the small CT indicator there. And on channel 16, they have a DCS tone enabled, also known as a DTC tone or code. So until you remove those tones, you will not be able to talk to anyone. And because you cannot do any of the programming changes on the radio itself, there is no menu button, there is no menu screen, you only get the channel indicator. You will have to plug your radio into the computer, download the Redivis software, and remove the tones from the radio using the software. If you fail to do this, when you try to talk to any other GMRS radio in the world, the other radios will hear you, but those pre-programmed tones, such as that DCS tone right there, those pre-programmed tones that come out of the box on the RB89 radio will prevent you from hearing anything that the people on the other radio have to say. However, if you buy two of these radios, they will talk to each other just fine because they all have the same pre-programmed tones. You only run into a problem if you wanna to talk to any other non redivis GMRS radio in the world. And this can cause much rage and confoculation. As previously mentioned, the radio has two programmable buttons. You need to use the software to program what those buttons do. And out of the box, they are set for changing the channel up and down by pressing them quickly. A long press on the top button allows you to change the squelch level, and a long press on the bottom button turns the Bluetooth on and off, as indicated there. One thing that I learned the hard way is that if the Bluetooth is on, you will not be able to transmit any audio, even if your earpiece is turned off. So if you're not using the earpiece, you must turn off the Bluetooth option on the radio or nobody will hear anything that you say. Had the shitty user manual actually said anything about that, it would have saved me an hour of rage and confoculation trying to figure out why I couldn't get my two radios to talk to each other. I may have failed to mention it earlier, but the radio does have a flashlight. However, out of the box, there is no button programmed to turn the flashlight on. So if you want to actually use the flashlight, you have to enable it in the software and set one of the buttons to be able to turn it on and off. As previously mentioned, the antenna is not removable, so I can't measure the power output, but Redivis says that this radio transmits up to five watts. So let's see how many FARs this radio actually has. And to help me test the FARs, I have my friend Chris at his house 10 miles away in that direction pretty much right over your shoulder. And Chris, as many of you may recall, is the real star of this channel. But for the last few months, Chris has been away in the Ukraine, advising the Ukrainian government on how to get more money from the United States government. And as with everything that Chris does, he has been doing an excellent job at getting the United States to send more money to the Ukraine. But Chris is now back in these United States and he is standing by to help me test the FARs of this new Redivis RB89 radio. Chris, do you copy? Say hello to all of your adoring fans. Hello, friends. Thanks, Randy. It's great to be back in the United States. Now I must point out that the Nata Rubicon Institute headquarters is located in an exclusive gated community up high in the beautiful foothills of Southern California, and Chris is located down below in the slums. This means that we have very good line of sight between my radio and Chris's radio. Your FARs may vary. So I will now call Chris from this radio to his handheld to see how well I sound 10 miles away. Chris, 530. How does this new Redivis radio sound from many bars away? That was the signal. One, two, three, four, five. 
The signal's good, Randy. A slight hiss under you, but the modulation's 100%. All right, thank you, Chris. Please say goodbye to all of your adoring fans. Uh, goodbye, fans. And as you just heard, with your very own noise holes at 10 miles away with good line of sight, this radio sounds very good. The signal was actually better than I expected it to be for such a small, dinky, fixed antenna. So should you buy the new Redivus RB89 radio? Well, as you've just seen, the radio does have some limitations and a few issues, but none of them are showstoppers. They are all fairly easily dealt with. So if you are looking for an inexpensive, easy and simple to use radio with a Bluetooth earpiece, then this radio might be the GMRS radio for you.